Welcome to the Melodyne Editor Tour about the pitch grid and the associated scales. The pitch grid in Melodyne Editor is for snapping blobs to musical pitches. Our example for showing the options of the pitch grid is this nice Spanish guitar theme. Click at the intersection between the time and pitch rulers to open a context menu of grid options. You can open the same menu by right-clicking on the pitch ruler. If you select No Snap from the Pitch Grid menu, you can move notes freely in pitch. When the pitch grid is inactive, no lines separate the notes in the pitch ruler. Select Semitone Snap and notes will gravitate towards the nearest semitone when moved. If there is an offset between the pitch of a tone prior to its being moved and the nearest semitone, it will be preserved at the new location. In other words, it will still be sharp or flat by the same amount. We have detuned this note when we moved it, so here you can see the effect. When the semitone grid is active, lines appear in the pitch ruler between all the notes of the chromatic scale. If you double-click on a blob with the pitch tool, it will move to the note nearest to it in the chromatic scale. As an alternative to semitones, you can model the grid on any of a variety of scales. Options include major and minor scales, as well as more esoteric varieties. When Melodyne Editor analyzed the guitar, it also derived the scale of the played music. You see it is in A minor. Let's activate the option Scale Snap and choose a different scale. To set the scale, select from the Select Scale menus first the tonality, then the scale or mode itself. When a scale-based pitch grid is active, notes not included in the scale are grayed out in the pitch ruler, and a bold line appears in each octave beneath the tonic. With Scale Snap active, double-clicking on a blob, or one of a selection of blobs, with the pitch tool snaps it to the nearest degree of the selected scale. We chose the A major scale, and now we can easily switch the complete theme from minor to major just by selecting everything and double-clicking with the pitch tool. The Alt key, as usual, is for moving notes independently from the grid. You can later switch freely between No Snap, Semitone Snap, and Scale Snap in the Pitch Grid menu without losing your scale selection. This is what you have learned up to now in this tour. Press pause in your video player if you need more time to read this. If instead of concert pitch, which has the A at 440 Hz, you want to adopt some other standard and for the pitch ruler to move up or down accordingly, select Reference Pitch from the Pitch Grid menu. Now you can assign A to some other frequency. The combo box in the Reference Pitch window may contain several suggestions from which you can choose a new reference pitch. The frequencies Melodyne Editor offers for your consideration are based upon its earlier analysis of the audio material. In our example, the audio file has been recorded on a reference pitch of 432 Hz, and that's why we get this suggestion here. But we can also type in the value of our choice. Have a close look at the underlying pitch grid of Melodyne Editor's window when we confirm the change reference pitch with OK. The grid just jumped to a different position to adjust to the new reference. For now, your setting only applies to the document, currently open in Melodyne Editor standalone or to the transfers of the current instance of Melodyne Editor plugin. If you check the option Make This the Default, the selected reference pitch will be adopted automatically by new documents in Melodyne Editor standalone or further instances of Melodyne Editor plugin, respectively. This has the same effect as setting the reference pitch value found in the preferences of Melodyne Editor. And, as you can see, the value has changed there too. In this tour, you have learned how to use the pitch grid, change the scale of your music, and how to change the reference pitch of Melodyne Editor.
Just hit pause on your video player if you'd like to read this summary unhurriedly.